NVIDIA says a tiny gold box is an AI supercomputer, and they claim it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with something like a massive traditional server rack. They are promising the power of their Grace Blackwell superchip, an insane 128 gigabytes of unified memory, all packed into a little gold box that barely takes up more space than a coffee mug, a box that costs about $4,000. To put that in perspective, they're saying this little device has more power than their entire DGX-1 server from 2016, which was the size of a mini fridge and cost a fortune. So, is the hype real? Let's dive into the architecture to see how it ticks, and then explore how it stacks up against a traditional high-end workstation. Let's break down the two contenders. On one side, we have the NVIDIA DGX Spark. It's built around one of the most hyped up pieces of silicon we've seen in years, the NVIDIA GB100 Grace Blackwell Superchip. This isn't just a CPU next to a GPU. It's a full-on system on a chip. Think of it like a master chef who has their oven and their cutting board built into the same workstation instead of having to walk across the kitchen. It fuses a 20-core ARM CPU with a brand new Blackwell GPU, letting them work together seamlessly. But the part that really makes engineers weak in the knees is the memory. The DGX Spark has 128 gigabytes of unified memory. Imagine a normal computer is like two librarians working at different desks, each with their own small stack of books. To share information, they have to slowly copy a page and walk it over. Unified memory is like putting both librarians at one giant table, reading from the exact same massive book. There's no copying, no walking. It's all just there. To get that much memory for an AI task in a normal PC, you'd be scrounging for server-grade hardware that costs tens of thousands of dollars. NVIDIA says this lets the device run AI models up to 200 billion parameters. That's not a desktop claim. That's a data center claim. And in the other corner, we can consider a top-tier custom AI workstation. Imagine a machine with a high core count x86 CPU, 128 gigs of fast DDR5 RAM, and the real firepower, two NVIDIA RTX 4090s linked together. That gives us a combined 48 GB of dedicated video memory. Now, on paper, this workstation should steamroll the DGX Spark, but its Achilles heel is that memory limit. Going back to our library analogy, its librarians are incredibly fast readers, but their personal books are much smaller. The second, a project requires a book larger than 48 pages, their performance is going to fall off a cliff as they waste all their time running back and forth to the main shelf. So the big question is, does the DGX Spark's revolutionary memory design let it punch so far above its weight that it can actually take down a brute force champion? Let's analyze the showdown. Before we get to the benchmarks, let's break down the hardware. The DGX Spark is designed to be a ridiculously small unit. The whole AI supercomputer runs off a 240-watt USB-C power brick, a smart move to save every last millimeter inside for cooling. The device is housed in a dense metal alloy chassis designed for maximum airflow, measuring just 150 by 150 by about 50 millimeters, which puts it in the tiny 1-liter PC class. Internally, the design is dominated by a super-dense heat sink and fan. Cooling a chip this powerful in such a small form factor is the number one engineering challenge. There are reports that the device might be throttling its power, drawing only about 100 watts instead of its rated 240 just to stay cool. Beneath the cooling solution is the main board, which can be configured with components like a 4TB NVMe SSD for storage. And nestled under a small heat spreader is the main event, the GB100 Grace Blackwell Superchip. The individual CPU and GPU are fused together on the same package, and that physical closeness is what enables their high-speed connection. 
instead of talking over a walkie-talkie like normal components, they're practically telepathic, with five times the bandwidth of a standard PC connection. The port selection is where it gets wild for a machine this small. It includes four USB-C ports, HDMI 2.1a, a 10 gigabit Ethernet port, and then two QSFP ports. These are driven by an integrated NVIDIA Connectex 7 Smart Nikes, and each one can handle 200 gigabits per second. Think of these like special Lego connectors. They let you snap two DGX sparks together to create a tiny cluster, doubling the brain power. NVIDIA says a dual spark setup can handle models up to an unbelievable 405 billion parameters. This is a feature ripped straight from a data center, and finding it on a desktop machine is just insane. So how would these two machines perform in a head-to-head -head comparison? Let's consider a series of real-world AI tests designed to find their breaking points. Test 1. The Large Model Challenge First, consider a test the DGX Spark was born for, loading a massive 120 billion parameter language model. This is like asking our librarians to read a 120-page book. The traditional workstation's dual 4090s can only hold 48 pages at once, so they have to constantly run to the main shelf to swap pages. The DGX Spark, with its 128-page capacity, should just load it up. The results would be predictable. The traditional workstation would likely choke. It would spend all its time swapping data, and the actual work output would be a slideshow. We're talking single-digit tokens per second. It would be unusable. Now, for the DGX Spark. The model would load, and it would just go. It would be sitting at the table with the whole book open. In this scenario, one could expect to see prompt processing at around 1,700 tokens per second and generating new text at about 38 tokens per second. Now, 38 tokens isn't the fastest reading speed in the world, but compared to the disaster on the traditional workstation, it's night and day. It's the difference between actually working with a huge model and just not. For a single compact box, what a device like the Spark can do is groundbreaking. This right here is the why of the DGX Spark. It's not always about being the fastest. It's about being able to do things that were flat out impossible on a desktop before. Test two, the fine tuning speed run. Next, imagine a different kind of fight fine-tuning a smaller model. Here, raw number crunching speed is often more important than memory size. This is like a speed reading contest with a short pamphlet. And here's where the plot would twist. The traditional workstation, with the brute force of its dual 4090s, would take the lead. Its hyper-specialized hardware would chew through the training data faster. The race would be closer than one might think, but the workstation would definitely be ahead when it comes to pure training speed on smaller models. The DGX Spark would put up a respectable fight. NVIDIA claims it can hit over 82,000 tokens per second, which is wild for a 240-watt box, but it can't beat the raw power of two flagship GPUs. This is a really important result. It shows the DGX Spark isn't a magic wand. It's a specialized tool. If all you do is train smaller models, a big traditional rig might still be your faster bet. Test 3. Power and Noise Let's also consider power, thermals, and noise. Under full load, the DGX Spark is reported to pull about 100 to 120 watts from the wall. This seems to confirm early reports that it's not hitting its 240W limit. The performance is still amazing for that power draw, but it makes you wonder what it could do with more cooling. The resulting heat is manageable, and fan noise is said to be a low hum, easily ignorable in an office setting. The traditional workstation by comparison? It's a jet engine. Under load, it could guzzle over 1,000 watts. The noise from all its fans would be a racket. It's a space heater that screams at you. The performance per watt isn't even a competition. The DGX Spark is playing a completely different sport.
So this performance comparison tells a nuanced story. The DGX Spark wins the large model test because its unified memory is like having all your ingredients on one enormous countertop right where you need them. It totally removes the bottleneck of running across the kitchen, which is why it could run the massive model when the traditional workstation just choked. But the traditional workstation wins the smaller fine-tuning test because of raw, specialized muscle. Think of it this way. The DGX Spark is a brilliant, versatile chef. The workstation is two specialists who only chop vegetables, but they do it faster than anyone else. If the only task is to chop a small bag of carrots, the specialist will win. But ask them to cook an entire banquet and they're lost. A single RTX 4090 has over 1,000 GBS of bandwidth to its own private memory, while the DGX Sparks is 273 GBS shared across the whole chip. So when the job is small enough to fit in that private memory, that specialized speed wins. And this really gets to the heart of what the DGX Spark is. It's not a gaming PC. It's not a direct replacement for a custom rig. NVIDIA calls it the world's smallest AI supercomputer, and that's exactly it. It's a development platform. It comes pre-loaded with a version of Linux that has NVIDIA's entire AI software stack ready to go. The whole point is to give developers a dead simple way to start working with massive models on their desk and then seamlessly move that exact same work to a giant DGX system later. If you love deep dives into technology like this and want to understand what hardware is truly capable of beyond the marketing hype, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. It's the best way to support the channel. So back to that first question. Is the NVIDIA DGX Spark really an AI supercomputer in a backpack? Yes, absolutely, but with a catch. If your definition of a supercomputer is just the machine that wins every benchmark, then no. As we've discussed, a purpose-built, power-hungry desktop can still beat it in certain races. But if a supercomputer is a machine that lets you do work that was impossible outside of a multi-million dollar data center yesterday, then the DGX Spark is a revolution. It's like the difference between needing an entire Hollywood studio to make a movie and suddenly being able to shoot a feature film on an iPhone. It doesn't make the studio obsolete, but it puts incredible power into the hands of millions of new creators. The ability to genuinely interact with a 200 billion parameter model on a silent box on your desk is a paradigm shift. This isn't a machine for playing games or checking email. It's a scalpel for a very specific kind of surgeon. It's for the developer who needs to quickly test an idea on a giant model. It's for the researcher who needs to validate an experiment without waiting in a queue for server time. And with those crazy networking ports, it's for the small team that wants to link two together and build their own personal AI cluster. The DGX Spark isn't trying to replace the high-end PC. It's creating a new, accessible path for true, large-scale AI work. NVIDIA didn't just shrink a data center. They reimagined what a personal computer for the age of AI should be. And for the right person, this little gold box isn't just a computer. It's a key to the future.